Hi friends, welcome back to another cooking episode on my channel. So today's recipe is a Sindhi snack. Let us make Bia Juntikyu. Bia means lotus root also known as lotus stem. So cutlets can be made by adding potato to this lotus root and the tikkis are very very delicious. Very simple recipe, easy to make and just make and enjoy. Let's proceed to make Bia Juntikyu. Bia Juntikyu Lotus Root Cutlets These are so crispy and delicious. To make these, I have taken one lotus root or also known as lotus stem, scraped and boiled it. Two potatoes boiled, oil for frying and we have breadcrumbs about two tablespoons, one tablespoon of crushed anar dana quarter teaspoon of crushed ajwain or caram seeds, half teaspoon of garam masala, some salt to taste, one green chilli. Since it's large, I'm taking one. You can take two if they are smaller. Ingredients list can be checked in the description box also. Now first we are going to mince or crush these lotus stems which are already boiled. Put them in a mini chopper and mince them coarsely. The coarser texture gives the appearance of minced meat. Now this is done. Look at this. This is how it should be. Looks like minced meat. Now take a wider dish and mash the boiled potatoes. Now add the minced lotus root. Lovely. Next go in all the spices and the salt one by one. Add the green chilies. You can add more if you like spicy. Ajwain, anardana, pomegranate, salt to taste and breadcrumbs. I'm adding some coriander leaves also. These are frozen ones. Check out the link how to freeze coriander leaves. They are really very handy. Now give it a nice mix. All the ingredients should be mixed very well. This is one of the quickest and tastiest snack. Check the salt. Now we will start making the cutlets. Take a smaller portion and shape it into cutlet. I am making oval shape. You can make any shape you desire. Round, heart shape or you can even use some cutters and give it a different shape also. But this is the usual traditional ones. The same mixture can also be used to make round balls or koftas. You can put them in any gravy, dagawari gravy and we make the curry also with this. Here we go, cutlets are done. I have dusted them with some corn flour or cornstarch. This way if you are not frying immediately, they don't get stuck to each other and also when you are frying it gets a nice and crispier texture outside. Heat the oil and slide in three or four cutlets at a time. Maintain medium flame so that the outer layer becomes crispy and nice. Initially first you have to put on high flame then medium. Keep adjusting in between and intermittently also you 
flip the cutlets so that they are fried evenly these days we have all kinds of fancy snacks but nothing can beat the traditional ones these have their own taste easy to make and enjoyable look at the lovely color they are nice golden brown remove them on a absorbent paper and in the same way you fry all the cutlets this is really very nice snack friends you must try it i'm sure you're going to love these cutlets second batch is also done dish them out and serve with some sauce of your choice i love this chili sauce i always have it in my refrigerator i've already posted the video also you can check it out i'm sharing the link in the description box so make and enjoy these irresistible and crispy cutlets let's check out the taste you can also serve them with mint chutney they taste very good nice the texture is crunchy on the outside and look at it looks like some non veg cutlet mm yummy you can't stop with one amazing flavors so tasty make and enjoy if you are a new visitor to the channel do subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notifications about the new uploads here are some videos from the archives do check them out we'll soon be back with another new recipe bye until then have a nice day